Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Golden Kamui season 3 episode number 8. Okay, uh, the previous episode we got to meet a new character. Uh, her name is Sophia and she is like one of those characters. Uh, those you see like in the animes we often see the, the type of character. There's a tough granny type of characters like uh, for example um, Otose from Gintama if you guys have seen, guys have seen Gintama. Like she is one of those characters like with a rough voice and she's pretty buff and uh, what kind of uh, like pretty like rowdy and uh, foul mouthed that type of character. So uh, I know I'm going to like this character because obviously like she is like one of those grannies who's going to probably beat you up if <laughs> you somehow <laughs> like uh, like cross her. So yeah. <laughs> And most probably Kiraranke and like Ashipa's team is going to meet her. Uh, she is in a prison currently with uh, one of the uh, like one uh, that Russian uh, lady who um, like uh, whom uh, Sugimoto's team got to know about uh, when they like stopped in that lighthouse taking shelter from the snowstorm. So yeah, so let's see uh, how they are going to actually do this. Like I don't have any idea like what they're going to do. Like she is in a prison. So like are they going to meet her in a prison or like break her out i don't know like let's see let's see actually what happens so yeah without further ado let's get started with episode number eight of golden kamui season three okay um i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go Okay. Wow, that's yeah, there's quite many of them. Of complex. Oh, is that so? Oh, okay, yeah. All right, yeah. That 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 is kind of correct. Like, uh, Ashipa is like the key here. Oh, it's the past. Oh. Hmm. Well, reminiscing. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, technically, uh, in Sugimoto's team. He's kind of like a one man uh, like guy like they're forming a team but for a temporary uh, I'm getting uh, I'm like I think like for a temporary moment obviously because their uh, goals coincide and Sugimoto uh, okay now I don't know anything about Taniga but I think Taniga is always like in Sugimoto's side uh, like he is more of uh, like a guy who wants the best for Ashiripa so like in that way he is I think the only one that Sugimoto can kind of call an ally in his team. Other than that, Koito and um, uh, what was his name? Uh, Sukishima, yeah, Sukishima. Those two, um, like they are technically um loyal to um, oh, uh, Surumi. So I doubt that if like push comes to so uh, like shove. They will probably like uh, deflect from like Sugimoto's team and uh, like I don't know like I think that's the main the cause because Sugimoto is only like going with them for the time being uh, like unless and until he gets to Ashripa. So the only one that he can call an ally in his team is uh, Tanigaki and obviously uh, Chikapasi and uh, the dog if you like count them. <coughs> Oh, Ushima. Oh, like quite a long time have went. We have not seen the Shinsengumi. Hmm? 
Yeah, what is that? Oh, okay. Doi Shinzo. Hmm. Oh, okay. All right. Wow, he has like a deep voice. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> um. Yes. Beautiful. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh, okay. Quite interesting. Nemuro. Okay. Hmm. Oh, he is even older than Shimpachi? Hmm. Wow, what? Oh. So he is like one of those uh, samurais. Oh, it's those birds, aren't they? Like, what did they call them? I forgot the name. Manslayer, Hitokiri. Ah. Okay, so. So this guy's like. Okay, who is the samurai? This guy or that guy? Let's see. I'm thinking about the old guy. Yeah. He's a samurai. Uh, so he's like one of those guys who is like uh Seems pretty weak, but he's pretty badass. Like he's one of those guys. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, yeah, obviously. Hmm. Oh, he married. Oh, kill them. Oh, all right. Oh, so he like, 
uh, that's why he was like in the prison okay so that is why like he is carrying that b kind of thing Yeah, also in that like era, like uh, illness were a lot more like dangerous to people. Like people never, oh, what is he doing? Like people never uh, lived long because of that reason. Okay, so did you really go senile? Like it seemed as if like. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of sad, like the thing he said. Like before I even f like forget how to die. Okay, so so he really is like in a Bad condition, oh no. Oh boy, there we go. <laughs> yeah oh yeah let's see like obviously he must have yeah he has uh, okay Oh my god, why? Why like this? Oh no, he is mistaking them. Oof! Wow! Damn, yep, this guy was pretty badass. Like, <laughs> I knew it. It's one of those guys. Time to die. Oof! <laughs> why? <laughs> oh. oh, they're here. She's in Gumi. Yep. <laughs> ah, yes. Well, I'm, I'm guessing Shimpachi is outside. Yeah, uh, like we saw a little bit of uh, Kondo, but we never saw Okita, did we? Uh, okay, well. Yeah. <laughs> Won't work. Yes. My God, this guy's scary. Like the manslayer. Oh boy. Well, you messed with the wrong dude. Okay. Oh, 
Oh boy, here it is, come on. Oh, Hijikata. Mm, yeah. Yeah, he is like kind of um he's already got C9, like and he's almost at his death's door, so even though he's strong, he won't be able to like continue it. Oh, who is this guy? Wait. So, like, the sensei betrayed him? Like old age is something that will get everyone. No exceptions. Mm, those words. <coughs> Excuse me. No. Okay, so that is his like goal. Okay, like um, Hijikata's. <sighs> okay.
Yeah, like Hijikata has a goal, so he is striving for that. That's the reason why, like, yeah, he can like keep going even though he is so old. Oh, oh, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Okay, what is this? Um, whale. Okay. Okay. Yes. Osama. <laughs> Osama. Okay, that looks good. He stole, he stole it from him. <laughs> yeah, Osama, definitely. Yeah! <laughs> that sounds wrong. <laughs> like, Sigma the Spoop. <laughs> it sounds as if... <laughs> like, Osama is Poop, isn't it? So... Oh. Okay, what I saying? Yeah, <laughs> like he never said cheer it up. So, okay, how about cheer it up? Like you should also say that. Okay, so they're gonna break her out, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Lighthouse? Lighthouse? Oh, okay. Okay, so... When they come... Okay, so prison break! Okay, I'm excited for that. So, yeah. Wow, this this was a good episode. I like this. And this was like um like one of the I think um uh, god damn mosquitoes. So like this was one of the first uh Shinsengumi episode in this season, wasn't it? Yeah, like we barely saw them uh, this whole season. So, no. All right, so yeah. Okay, that was episode number eight. Yes, episode number eight of Golden Kamui season three. All right, so uh, as I said, uh, I like this episode because obviously it really it was related to Shinsengumi, and uh, we saw um a bit of their like uh one of like uh, the past of one of the prisoners, uh, the manslayer. Um, I forgot his name again. I don't. Yoichiro, okay, Manse Yoichiro. Okay, so we got to see a little bit of his past, 
and so like um he like there's this one thing like these guys are obviously humans and uh like as i said like old age is something that will eventually get to every one of us it makes no distinctions and it will like come to everyone and uh like that is something that will always uh bring down even the strongest people like old age is something and obviously like unless and until you have a goal or have a what can i say a strong conviction to like go on even though like you are old you are weak you won't be able to um what can i say like uh, you won't be able to withstand uh, the problems of old age for example uh, like hijikata and Kinpachi. these two guys have a goal and because of that goal they can still go on even though they are so old so uh, but this guy yoichiro uh, manslayer after like he was caught and um, after his wife died he like lost everything and uh, like he had nothing to live for so obviously like he lost all um, meaning of life on uh, like uh, meaning of life because of uh, old age and had no kind like no ambition nothing so he like was left to like rot in like the uh, clutches of old age and uh, like day by day he became senile and obviously like uh, this thing that he said like I must um, what did he actually say just a sec uh, I like that uh, the way he said that like that's a really good um, statement just a sec uh, let me check that out again before I no longer uh, know when it's time to die yeah before I no longer know when it's time to die so uh, that's what he feared like uh, obviously people who are old and uh, everything they start to like lose uh, control of uh, their own um, what can I say uh, like not f like anything like everything related to their own self they start to lose control of it they start forgetting things they start to uh, like see things hallucinate uh, because of like dementia and all of those like old age problems and um, he said that uh, like like if like the fear is like uh, he will forget the time uh, no uh, he will no longer know when it's time to die so when he like he reaches that moment after that like you are someone who has like no control over you because of old age he will not be able to like understand anything he will go completely senile and like just die one day just like that so that is really um sad to think like this guy who was like one of the strongest uh, one of the uh, fiercest people a person who was like feared by everyone uh, that guy he will like die just like a person who like uh like in a bad way he'll die just like that so that is like one of the uh, fears that i think every person has like old age and um like passage of time so like uh yeah that was a really good uh, statement he said that uh, uh i um like when i no longer know when it is to die before i no longer know when it's time to die i really li like that statement <laughs> and um yeah and even though like uh, he's temporarily got his strength back obviously because he was hallucinating and he thought that yeah i'm still that guy i'm still the manslayer who fought so many people and he was like hallucinating and everything so yeah and um okay uh, and he obviously like uh, hijikata killed him because he was a man who had no goals so obviously that would also mean that uh, even if he was left alive like if some way like his cat left him alive and like only copied his tattoos he would have probably died in a like bad way like uh, we saw in this episode people were like coming after him so like even if like his left him alone only like copied the tattoos he would probably sooner or later die like in one of in the hands of one of the other guys and that would be like something like not um like good so obviously like uh so he hijikata 
killed him and uh, like let him out of his misery like living like that without any goal without any person to go back to like he had no one and just like wandering around like a vagabond like because of old age forgetting everything uh, doing like uh, weird things because of like forgetfulness and dementia all of these things that is not a good way to live so yeah so he like killed him because of that otherwise like if he was someone who was like strong uh, not strong like who had an ambition and who was still uh, like had a grasp on th their emotions and on their like uh, own workings of their mind if he were like sane not senile uh, uh, just like Shimpachi uh, Hijikata I think most probably Hijikata would have like took him under his like uh, team and like said like uh, come fight with me we'll uh, like, uh, we have a goal and like we're going to like uh go for that strive for that and he would i think he would have like taken him under that that's also the reason why um uh ushiyama uh, like asked him that uh like he's pretty strong so uh would we take him in but hijikata did not like uh, agree to that because he knew that even though he is strong he has nothing to work for he will be like kind of like uh uh like broken uh malfunctioning uh mm, I don't know like malfunctioning device like sometimes he will work sometimes he won't and he would probably like die in a bad way just like that so he like went for him and killed him because of that and obviously like golden kami is more uh, what can i say uh like has kind of uh, um, uh like has no like d doesn't hold any bars like the, especially in case of deaths uh like it takes it a lot um what can i say maturely because obviously all of these guys are like uh, killers they are not some kind of saints who never killed or stuff like that only like uh, ashipa is kind of like a girl who is obviously like ashipa is quite young and she has not killed anyone so that's an exception but i'm talking about the others they are like uh, war like people who have fought in wars and all so like death is something that they juggle around like they know that i might die tomorrow so that's also the reason why they do not hesitate to kill like he know like they know that uh like it's kill or be killed it's like that kind of world so like another thing is like um uh like i, I was a bit uh what can i say uh surprised uh when the like that whale was like all cute and everything coming out and suddenly there's like a bullet hole uh, i was I suddenly like got uh, a bit startled at that and then i remembered this oh this is golden kami so yeah things like this will happen <laughs> like i was really started i like for a bit i kind of forgot like this was golden kami and like death and everything especially like uh, animals like they just like kill squirrels and everything and like a cute little squirrel was like running around and <laughs> actually like went and like uh, like killed him and then like they uh, skinned it and like started making chita up like it's this kind of a show so like sometimes it's kind of like when it uh, goes out of my mind and <laughs> that also happened in this like the whale was all cute and like it was like uh coming out and suddenly a bullet hole <laughs> and then i realized this oh this is golden coming so yeah there is something normal so <laughs> yeah and um <clears throat> okay so yeah what else uh was in this episode um Oh, and they um, decided to go for uh, like break out Sophia, like not only Sophia, all the other uh, prisoners. That will be a pretty um, tough job, like breaking out so many people at the uh, like same time. Even though like if they like break out so many people, as he said, like as Kiranke said, that if like all of these people like started like rampaging around in the uh, prison people won't even like notice uh, notice if like sofia uh, like goes out or they will be like too preoccupied <clears throat> in getting like all of the prisoners in line and won't uh, have time to like look at sofia sofia only and that will also like reduce the uh, um, like chances of these guys like of ashifa's team to get caught uh, while doing the deed but uh, they have to like uh, like execute the uh, breakout perfectly like like after they like uh, blow the whole pl like walls down and like the uh, prisoners start running around then it will be an easy job they will like take advantage of the confusion uh, take sofia and uh, the other girl i'm hoping like the russian girl and uh, like run out and then, then it will like an easy job 
but unless and until that will like uh, doing that it will be a problem like bringing out so many people and i think like kiranaka has a plan he was like obviously going to use the explosive in the lighthouse but i think he's like waiting for someone i don't know who is actually waiting for is he like waiting for Sugimoto's group i'm not sure like he said something about like uh someone will come here didn't he yeah when they come we'll have everything we need so it might be like i don't know like it, they uh, might be like uh, like he might be like planning to wait for sugimoto and i i'm not sure anyways we'll probably like get to know that in the future episode who he's actually like for. and um, yeah so yeah that was the episode uh this was uh like a rare shinsengumi episode so i liked it we also got to see ushiyama and um and shimpachi and all of them and another thing is like uh i think we uh, only heard about kondo didn't we like isami kondo the captain of shinsengumi we never saw him what did we know we did not see him in this uh anime so i don't know uh we don't even know if he's alive like did they mention anything about that about like kondo isami being alive i can't remember and we also like we're i think we're like also hearing uh, okita's name for the first time in this anime isn't aren't we or uh, i'm not also not sure about it. like um like as far as i know um hijikata is uh, uh no no, Hijikata is the vice captain, isn't he? Yeah, Hijikata is the vice captain. Kondo is the captain of Shinsengumi, and Okita was, uh, I think, uh, one of the captains of the one of the groups, wasn't he? Like he was called a demon, um, as far as I know, like uh, the demon of Shinsengumi, I think. Shimpachi was also like one of the people of Shinsengumi. Yeah, it was something like that. So we don't know anything about Okita and uh, Kondo. We don't. I I don't think they even mentioned if they're alive or not. I would really like to see Okita and obviously Isami as well, uh, because uh, Hijikata himself is so badass. So I'm hoping like what will Okita be? No, uh, demon. Hijikata was called a demon. Uh, Okita. What was Okita called? I can't remember. I forgot. Like these are all like uh, knowledge from Gintama and um, uh, Fate Grand Order so uh i can't remember like what okita was actually called anyways but he was pretty damn strong and he was feared like uh one of the people uh, from the shinsengumi so yeah and uh, there are also like a lot of other like shinsengumi um people uh so <laughs> yeah like i don't know who like are they going to like uh, introduce any more of them not sure so yeah uh just a sec. Uh, yeah, I was just looking for. I forgot his name. Uh, Sakamoto Yoma. Like he's also one of the um, like, uh, one of the famous Shinshengumi, uh One of the people. So yeah, all of these as uh, like people. I, I'm not sure if they're going to introduce any more of them. But I really, uh, I don't know. Hope we at least get to see uh, another one of the Shinsengumis. I'm not sure if they will ever do that. But anyone uh, like okita or like kondo just anyone like uh if we get to see any more of them i'm really hoping but i don't know uh if we'll get like get to see any more of them or not yeah <laughs> so yeah guys uh that was um this episode this was episode number eight of golden kamui the third season so yeah uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to this channel uh, be uh, be sure to do so uh, and comment down below anything you want to say about this episode or anything in general be sure to comment down i'll be sure to check them out and reply as well so uh, yeah guys uh, i'll be back with a new episode of golden kamui next week same time so yeah and next week we're going to see a prison game break i'm hoping so i'm quite excited for that so yeah so again thank you guys and i'll see be seeing you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day.